So here we are at the National Farm Machinery Show, Louisville, Kentucky. Today. Here we are at the Land Trust. They come down. Blades and box blades. Do you know what I went for, Tom? I didn't say. I didn't even go. I'd like to have a plow. Don't need a plow, but I'd like to have a plow. At least it has a cutter. No uh, cover board, but. See, the good part of that one, Tom, is it's adjustable left to right. Does that make sense? Yeah. A lot of them you can't adjust. If you can adjust that one left to right, then you can uh, get it where it belongs behind your tractor. It looks awful big for your tractor. It's too tall for my tractor. It's too tall for Dad's tractor. <clears throat> yeah. This so that's a, okay, that's a reverse. I guess both of these are reverse rotations. This is the higher end tillers. A couple of advantages. One is that you can adjust the width of the three-point attachment. Category one, category two. Rotary cutters. I guess I didn't realize that Land Pride was owned by Great Plains. I thought it was somehow owned by Kubota. Uh, I'm not sure what the relationship is. Clearly they're tied in some way, but uh, they sure do partner a lot. Tobacco planters. Here's the video. Here's the rotary cutters from Woods. Four, five, six, and seven posts, I guess. Oh, three and a half. The first one's three and a half foot. I didn't even know they made a three and a half foot cutter. Three and a half, four, five, and six. Woods disc. Looks like you can angle the gangs however much you want there. Is that how you angle them there, Tom? Brother Tom with us here today. It seems like in the advent of tillers, the discs just don't have the same same uh, appeal. I think a tiller would be of more value than a disc. Here's a, I believe this is a land plane. A lot of people uh, on Green Tractor Talk really brag on land planes. Woods tiller up there. Box blades. Snow blower over there. Toro. I'm not sure what that thing has out there in the middle. It looks like a Oh, it's snowplow, I guess. Lots of people. Lots of stuff. Like, uh, 
That boy lawnmower seems to have a canopy on its rods. Here's the bush hog booth. Looks like there's a pink bush hog mower. Red, white, and blue bush hog up there. There's the rest of our gang. Here's the four foot bush hog. The razor. And Bush Hog had the uh, stress hog. Here's the Bush Hog tillers. Six footer here. Seven footer there. There's Christy. Christy, what do you think of the farm show so far? It's all right. It's a lot of farm equipment. Big stuff. I want everybody to notice her green farm parts t-shirt. I didn't get to pick my own clothing today. Zetor. Chopper. World's fastest lawnmower. Very popular, at least around the Indianapolis area. And look at this one. Here's one with a. Uh, you see the one up there with the parachute? Yeah, I was going to say it must be good. Willie drives one. Oh, yeah. Willie drives one. It must be good. Yeah. Oh, now here's the one over here with the. Is that two engines on that one over there? I think I'm in. There's the stand behind. Now we'll go over here and we'll see the. I joined the hashtag Chopper Army. Camo. This is the Duck Commander. Version. Here we go, this is a Duck Commander Dixie Chopper. Here's X Mark. saying Christy? I think we should use that in the basement as uh, our movie theater seats. We can just get seats off of the lawnmowers. Yeah, you think that'd work? I think that, that would work. Nice. Yeah. I think we need that in our basement yeah. for movie watching. Cool. I like to have one on my lawn. <laughs> this little guy is really enjoying his. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> he's really enjoying his trip on the lawnmower. 